Alright guys, so yesterday I made a video talking about Modern Warfare 4 trailer release dates and when we would actually see our first official teaser trailers, our first official gameplay trailers, or even before all of that, just some sort of official announcement from Call of Duty, Activision themselves, you know, saying that it's going to be MW4. Right now we're just assuming that it's going to be MW4, but we need some sort of official statement from them just to completely confirm that it is in fact MW4. But what I also said was we could see some leaks and some talks and discussion about different things coming out about this game before they officially announce it. And that's what always happens around this time. Stuff comes out from different sources and we have to figure out if it's real or fake. Different teaser trailers, different leaks about the game, about the campaign, about the different modes. Like all that stuff is going to be rolling out within the next couple days right now as we speak and throughout these weeks you know before and leading up to the official mw4 reveal this video here i want to show you guys some teaser trailer and we're going to talk about an infinite or infinity ward dev that actually commented on it as well and we're also going to be talking about a new infinity ward logo that was seen in this and you know pretty much the reasoning as to why this is all occurring what's the deal with the logo is it actually the new infinity ward logo logo and just what's going on with this stuff so first let me show you guys up on screen before i show you the little trailer there this is the logo that you're going to see within the little teaser trailer it's definitely new it's definitely something we haven't seen before to the left i think it's just a stock photo from one of the it looks like mw2 one of the campaigns there but that's irrelevant that's just in the article from dick Sturto. but the logo to the right that's one of the new logos it's actually from e3 2018 and it's just a logo that they had for that time obviously maybe they don't want to confirm that they have a new logo because they're not ready to officially announce mw4 and alongside that with a new logo um that's what they did with black ops 4 they had a new Treyarch logo for black ops 4 when they first announced it so maybe they want to do it but they don't want it to leak out or anything but this is a logo that was seen last year um let me play you guys the trailer then we'll talk about it So again, obviously, this is a pretty cool trailer here, April 23rd, and it leaves a link or a thing up on screen to Twitch.tv slash Infinity War where they would reveal it. Unfortunately, um, this trailer most likely is fake. Usually, these things don't leak out this easily. Let me read you guys some stuff here. The date hinted towards a potential reveal happening on April 23rd, and many fans on social media took this to be an official leaked trailer, sharing it with others on the platform, such as Reddit and Twitter. That's what always happens. The 20-second long teaser circulating on social media featured the voice of a soldier who was communicating over a static radio while a date April 23rd was displayed on screen, along with the Infinity War Twitch channel. Now, April 23rd, if you look at a calendar it's tuesday april 23rd it's the fourth row you're seeing up on screen tuesday april 23rd and that is you know pretty much a solid date to see it so the date is pretty not it's not off from what we could see in my video i talked about yesterday based on the past dates i went through the past trailer release dates for Black Ops 3, for Infinite Warfare, and for World War II, and all of those dates pretty much lined up around that week, the last week of April, first week of May, and April 23rd is a Tuesday, usually when Call of Duty release, releases stuff, at least in the past, they release stuff on a Tuesday or announce stuff on a Tuesday, and that is pretty much the end of April there, so that's a solid date. Unfortunately with this though, you're going to see up on screen, Infinity War dev clears up speculation over fake MW4 teaser. So I think we didn't really need the Infinity War dev to tell us it was fake. I mean, we know, we have reasons to know or sources that look at this and we could tell without any other official person from Call of Duty or Activision saying it's fake, we can tell it's fake. This stuff just doesn't leak like this. Now, it's not always going to be immediately fake. Every time we see some sort of, sort of leaked teaser trailer, it doesn't mean it's automatically fake. But this one here, it's just fake. It's a pretty solid one too, though. So um, this guy, his name is Joel, and he cleared up some speculation about a teaser video that was circulating, MW4. We get it. 
Next thing here, there were some critics, however, such as a YouTuber, um, and he was saying, actually, and I agree, too, it's one of the more accurate trailers um, we've seen so far, and, uh, you know, it's including the unreleased Infinity Ward logo. Um, obviously, overall, the teaser trailer is fake, but that logo isn't made up. The logo is actually from something, so this Infinity Ward dev actually responded to the, that YouTuber that made the video about this teaser trailer that we just saw, and he pretty much said, need to clarify this logo talk. It's a development logo we had uh, created for last year's E3 studio shirt, not our primary logo. So here's the thing. There's a couple different things you can actually get from this tweet here. So one, he's not commenting. First of all, he's not commenting on the teaser trailer, which is very interesting. Uh, although I think most of us thinks it's fake anyway, this guy isn't you know, flat out saying like, oh, this is a fake teaser trailer. He's not saying that. He's only commenting on the on the logo, which is very weird. And he's also not disproving MW4, which I don't think they would do anyway. I think obviously it's gonna be MW4, so he can't directly comment on that. So that's interesting as well. And also he's only just pinpointing the talk about the logo, which is still very interesting because they made that logo last year for E3, but that could very well be their new Infinity War logo once MW4 is officially announced. Like I said, the same thing with Treyarch, they had a new logo with Black Ops 4 being announced. It could be the same exact thing here. So it's very interesting the words he chose and how exactly he's only choosing to mention the logo and nothing else that's going on there. So. Like I said, again, this is very interesting. It, it leads to the hype. I think this is a really cool little hype trailer. It's not like they put fake gameplay in the background. It's like something you would actually see for a teaser for MW4, you know, coming soon. This logo, someone talking in the background, April 23rd is a solid date. And I still think, honestly, April 23rd, you know, even though this is a, you know, most likely a fake trailer, that's definitely a date in which we could see our first announcement or teaser trailer like this, or maybe even full on gameplay reveal, like I said there, of, you know, Modern Warfare 4, or, you know, if, I mean, if in a crazy world it's not MW4, you know, Infinity Ward's new game this year, that would be the date to see it. So, that being said, thank you guys so much if you guys did enjoy, pretty cool here, and, um, yeah, hopefully we get the reveal and some actual, you know, cool leaks very soon uh, as to what this game is all about, what we're gonna be seeing, you know, I wanna see information on the new co-op mode especially, that's gonna be pretty sick, and hopefully this is a decent game. Hopefully it's fun, and yeah, we'll have to see. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, I'll see you guys later.